Astronomers announced some very big news indeed regarding the potential for habitable planets outside of Earth. We're now learning that eight new planets are orbiting their stars at distances compatible with liquid water. And that's huge because it brings the number of planets in the just right uh, so-called Goldilocks zone to a dozen or two. And this is all according uh, to the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, which has been really closely studying the planetary candidates uh, first identified by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Now keep in mind that the Kepler Telescope has discovered thousands of potential planets, hundreds of which have uh, been confirmed to be real. And now more and more of those are, are being found to have Earth-like characteristics. In fact, among the eight planets recently examined, astronomers say there are two that are more similar to Earth than any exoplanets to date. The two planets receive about as much sunlight as Earth does, which indicates uh, the usability of water, which is a great sign. A and they are reportedly rocky uh, also in nature, just like the Earth is. And so those characteristics uh, really make them better candidates for further study. However, studying this is going to be difficult because of their sheer distance from us. Uh, they are literally hundreds and hundreds of light years away. So detailed study will certainly be a challenge. But as the number of potential habitable planets expands, so will the demand for tools to learn even more about whether these planets can support life. Reporting from Kennedy Space Center, Amira David, RT. Is there life on Mars? It's the age old question that people have asked for centuries. And even today, we are still speculating about that prospect. But even though it's a question scientists have been trying to answer for years to date, there's been no unequivocal proof that life exists. However, that doesn't mean we're not getting close to finding out, especially with the help of instruments like NASA's Curiosity rover, which has led to a lot of interesting developments. Let's take a look at some of the ones that will define 2014, starting with some very curious spots of light. In April of this year, NASA announced it had discovered glints of light in photos captured by the Curiosity rover. Now, NASA doesn't know exactly what they are, but experts have said that it could be a glare on the lens or a technical error. However, since these photos emerged, speculation has run rampant that it's actually artificial light and could indicate intelligent life. So is it intelligent life? We simply don't know, but it's certainly now on the radar of scientists all over the world. Now moving on to another development sparking debate this year, the Moroccan carbon-containing meteorite. Researchers have now analyzed a meteorite that fell in the Moroccan desert from Mars three years ago. Scientists say they found small fissures that were filled with carbon-containing matter, which could have biological origin. In fact, the Swiss scientists who discovered this say there's no other theory that they find more compelling. And that takes us to the most recent of developments, the discovery that Mars has pockets of gas. NASA announced recently that the Mars Curiosity found chemistry on the planet in the form of organics and methane. Organics don't signal current life, but they do signal life could have existed there billions of years ago. But perhaps more exciting is the fact that methane indicates the planet is still chemically active. NASA says there are other possible explanations for this that are non-biological, but needless to say, this has gotten people very excited. 2014 was a very good year for those who really want to believe there is life on Mars. Lots of advancements that signal we're simply at the beginning of a long road of discovery. Reporting in Washington, Amira David, RT.